Top 15 cars covered by less than a second. Here are the results at the end of qualifying. The number one WRT Audi of Lawrence Van Thor will be starting on pole position. Then second, the McLaren 650S, Alvaro Perrin. Great job from him to be just 15 hundredths of a second further back. Norbert Siedler and Marco Seyfried, third quickest for them. Then fourth for Robin Freitz in the next of the WRT Audis. Giacomo Puccini doing a good job to qualify fifth. That car is in Pro-Am, so they're going to be up there. And then Michael uh, Mikhail Bronozewski will take over, and it'll start to slip down the order a little, I would have thought. Marcus Winkelhock qualifying in sixth. Max Boot, seventh. They'll be reasonably happy with that, I think, HTP. Uh, just ahead and out qualifying, in fact, the uh, Acker Mercedes of Felix Rosenquist. Then we've got... Mike Parisi and Christopher Haas in 13th place there. Marcus Pommer in 14th. Philippe Salacuada in 15th spot. Rene Ras could only manage... Uh, it was actually Will Stevens who did that final Q3, and he could only manage 16th quickest, ahead of Bernd Schneider. Rodrigo Baptista and Philippe Albuquerque completing the uh, eight, top 18. So that's how qualifying looked. After a very entertaining session, it looked as though Felix Rosenquist was looking strong for a pole debut. He went quickest in the early stages, but couldn't quite keep the momentum up. For a brief time, Franck Pereira in the 74 ISR Audi was the man who took pole position, but his lap time was deleted for exceeding track limits, and that was a, a real shame for them. Will Stevens couldn't quite get up to speed in the 28 WRT car. He still will start 16th, the second slower than Laurence Van Thor, who ends the session quickest of anyone, because before anyone could have one more run, the rain came. And what a performance from Van Thor, picking up where he left off in the Blancpain GT Series on pole position. So now, John, it's just a chance to look forward to the race. The qualifying session uh, over in a flash, and now we've got a great race coming up. Yeah, a bit of race preparation. I'm mulling over what you've found out in these three effectively dry qualifying sessions, whether it'll be dry this evening is another matter. And hopefully, hopefully, um, everybody will be uh, well behaved when Absolutely. the lights go out just before 9 o'clock tonight. Yep, 10 to 9. Make sure you join us. The most competitive GT series in the world begins at 10 to 9 local time this evening. You don't want to miss it.